We are here at another shipping container home called The Hangar at On The Rocks in Rising Fawn, Georgia. So let me show you inside. We are Nikki and Hayden, the creators behind Journey More. We're a young married couple traveling all over to find the most unique Airbnbs out there and share them with you. When you come up to the shipping container, I love the coloring. It's blue on the outside and the store is yellow. It's so cute, but come on in. <laughs> so when you first get inside, you come right into the living room area with this sweet little couch and it is decorated for Christmas because we're here close to Christmas so we are loving it and you look out over this magnificent view of the valley right across from this couch this is an incredible spot for some amazing views and they set it up perfectly for full enjoyment of it if you keep coming this way we walk right into the kitchen that has lots of amenities including a large sink full refrigerator, microwave oven combo. Over on this side, they've got this beautiful dark butcher block countertop, lots of plates, bowls, cups. They even have utensils and a stovetop eye to cook on so you can make a full meal while you're here. This countertop includes your dining area because there are two stools underneath here. They also provide for you a s'mores kit and we got some extra goodies from the host including stickers, a sweet note, some wine, grits and even some oats which is so sweet and we're gonna enjoy those and there's another cutting board so if you get a charcuterie package like we did at their last Airbnb you can hook yourself up with that and one last thing over here is they actually have this really neat QR code house guide moving this way we're gonna go all the way across to the bedroom over here is the master bedroom with a nice, comfortable queen bed, a guest book to write a note in, and beautiful large windows to see the view out of so you can fall asleep to the view, wake up to the view, never stop seeing the view. <laughs> it's awesome. They also have two air conditioners in here so they can keep it nice and cool or nice and warm depending on the season. Right over here is a storage closet that has linens for the second bed, which I'll show you in a minute, as well as an ironing board, space heater, and room for all your stuff <laughs> <laughs> and then this door opens into the full bathroom we've got a really beautiful tile shower with a great vanity toilet they do provide a hair dryer and plenty of towels it's a nice little space for your bathroom all right and now for the loft <laughs> and up here is the loft area with the best views of the house because these huge windows sit on the second floor and you have some amazing spots to check out the views this little couch actually doubles as a bed so you can fold this back part all the way over and put the linens on it from the closet to make a bed and four people can stay the night here which is so awesome now we're gonna go downstairs and check out the deck. So out here they have a table and chair combo for a nice little outdoor area and then they also have two fire pits on either side of the property so it's kind of a community area you can get to know your neighbor or you can book out all three and stay with all of your friends which would be awesome <laughs> and now we can't wait to enjoy our stay <laughs> Thank you. 
Our host Michael shared with us not only the inspiration behind the hangar, but the entire property. It started with a passion to repurpose materials for something useful. So he built the smaller container that's to the right of this one in the parking lot of his office. He wanted to show the town that these can be really useful and really neat. And it wasn't long after that that he and his wife found this property and actually transported that container right where it sits today. And soon after, they built the hangar. And we were surprised to learn that the hangar was inspired by hang gliding. He said that hang gliders jump off this mountain and actually come right through the view of these containers. And so he wanted to build something that symbolized that. And it originally started as two 20-foot containers that he offset by eight feet. And he had the roof on and everything, but he really wanted to put a loft in. So he cut the roof off of this front container and raised it up to not only give this lofted area here, but also to give it that shape of a hang glider. And a couple of neat things about the inside, the floors are all original to the containers themselves. They just sanded them down and refinished them. And then the two sinks, the kitchen and the bathroom sink, are both from an old 1930s home. And so it's really neat to see these little things coming together to make a new, modern, beautiful space. Which he said he can't take any credit for because his wife does all of the interior work of these container homes and their tree house, and it is beautiful. Another really neat thing that he envisioned for this property was a community feel. He grew up in Scouts, and he said that a lot of his memories are gathering around the fire, meeting new people in these outdoor spaces, and so he wanted to create the same thing here. And that's why the fire pits are more of a community feel with the other two container homes here. And we actually had the opportunity to meet our neighbors and we talked with them for a couple of hours last night around the fire. It was really fun. And we definitely believe that that type of vision is very much needed these days. And this really is the perfect spot that they've used so intentionally well. We absolutely love it. We loved our stay here at the Hangar on the Rocks. It's perfectly located with these amazing views. Cloudland Canyon State Park is only about five minutes away. And then Chattanooga is only about 20 minutes away. And we love the way that they have designed the property. Even though the containers are close together, they've really been intentional with making you feel like you have plenty of privacy with the way that they've laid things out and plenty of curtains to cover up the windows if you need to. But you also have the opportunity to meet your neighbors and get to know the people around you that you might not otherwise have ever met. I have absolutely loved getting to know the host, Mike and Tia. They are wonderful people who are so intentional, not only as hosts, but just as people. They have really supported us and our business. They watched our videos. We would love for you to do the same with them. So please book a stay at one of their amazing properties. Also, you can subscribe to their YouTube channel. So just show them some love because they've been so great to us. And 10 out of 10, you want these people as your hosts because they are just good. People. We will leave a link to not only the hangar, but also their other two shipping containers in the description below. Mm -hmm. That way you can get to them and book a stay. If you do stay here at the hangar, please let the host know that you found them through our video. If you'll just put in your message, we found you through Journey Moore's video and we're coming to stay, we would really appreciate that as it helps support us mm -hmm. and our channel. We also stayed in their tree house called the Sasser so if you want to go check out that video, we'll leave a link to that as well. But if you are a host with an amazing Airbnb or short-term rental that you want us to feature, you can reach us at journeymore.com by filling out our contact form. We would love to hear from you. But for now, come journey more with us, and we'll see you next time. Two stoles. Oops, stoles. Stoles. <laughs> and it's burning into your head. You told me not to say that. I'm going to say that anyway. Okay.